if you can't go for a jog at seven at night and come home without risking your life, how can you live here? I just, so that's where I'm at. Sad. Many in the South Baltimore community telling 11 News they are terrified when escalating crime and violence hit a crescendo last night with the deadly shooting of their neighbor, 25 year old Timothy Morricone. We don't know all of the um, uh, what, what occurred that led up to this. Uh, I know there have been some reports that this could have been a robbery or a robbery attempt. We don't know that just yet. Um, we, he, he, he wasn't jogging. Police say he died at the hospital after being shot at least once. Neighbors say it happened right in front of Morricone's front door. I uh, heard a gunshot. I um, was sitting on my couch right on the other side of this wall here. Uh, waited like two minutes, heard some yelling, called 911. That neighbor and others telling 11 News they heard just one gunshot. A single sound also captured on this surveillance video. One of several security cameras surrounding the crime scene. We all stick together around here. It's a really tight knit community. I know we got cameras everywhere. Detectives were looking for more footage on Friday. Back at the scene, knocking on doors, combing for clues in a community on edge. It's just happening over and over again. And now this young man was killed. I don't feel safe. Police are calling this an active investigation and confirm that they have increased deployment in the area of Riverside and Federal Hill. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.